Hail the day that sees him rise. Alleluia. Glorious to his native skies. Alleluia. Christ a while to mortals give. Alleluia. Enters now the highest heaven. Alleluia. Therefore him high triumph waits. Alleluia. Lift your heads, eternal gates. Alleluia. Christ hath vanquished death and sin. Alleluia. Take the King of glory in. Alleluia. Lord, though parted from our sight, Alleluia. Far above yon as your height. Alleluia. Grant our hearts may thither rise. Alleluia. Seeking thee beyond the skies. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Good afternoon and welcome to this Eucharist on the Feast of the Ascension. Uh, for those of you in the parish of Tidenham who've already uh, taken part in the vicar's uh, service this morning, you will have heard um, the fizzing excitement in his voice at the arrival of this feast, um, and I join him in that. This is a wonderful feast day, and it's good to be able to meet together and give thanks to God for his goodness. On the Tindon Parish Facebook page, you will be able to find, if you haven't already, the uh, words for the hymns I'm going to sing during the service. Um, the second hymn, uh, is insane. Uh, so I suggest you just sing the refrain with me um, because the tune ch changes wildly and unpredictably all the way through. Um, but it's a wonderful hymn full of uh, ancient theology about this day. As you can see from the dates, it's a very old um, ancient Latin hymn about this feast day. And you'll also find there on the, um, on the Facebook page uh, the words of the Nicene Creed, uh, should you not be able to recall it. Today being a principal feast, we are obliged to say the creed uh, together, and so we will do that. Let us now collect ourselves for this act of worship, calling to mind our sins uh, and God's goodness and grace to us. Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith and make our confession to our Heavenly Father. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. 
Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1 and verse 1. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the Apostles, whom he had chosen, after his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them over the course of forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to, receive, not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. Remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven, and they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
you're going to get quite a lot of preaching on the Ascension um, in the next few days. Uh, if you haven't already, do um, check out the Vicar's uh, non-Eucharistic service, which has got um, excellent teaching in it. Um, and I'm afraid you'll hear me venting my spleen about the Ascension on Sunday if you worship in the parish of Tidenham. Um, so I'm not going to repeat or preempt any of that today. Um, I just want to say one or two things about this feast day. Um, it, it takes place 40 days after Easter. Today is the 40th day of the Easter season, 40 being an important day, um, an important number. Uh, very often in the scripture, think about Christ being uh, presented in the temple 40 days after his birth, um, Feast of Candlemas. You often get big feasts coming along on day 40 of things in the scripture. Um, and this is the last time that the disciples see Jesus physically with them. Uh, after this, things are different. After this, uh, the relationship with God is different than it was before because they no longer eat and drink and walk around and uh, spend time with the physical uh, presence of Jesus. Instead, that presence becomes actually deeper, um, actually more profound. Actually, we find ourselves closer to Christ. Uh, than before um, and that is because of the Holy Spirit um, and the nature of that gift from the Father and the Son. Uh, a line of theology that I find quite useful is this one from Pope uh, Leo the Great um, who was one of the very early uh, popes um, and great theologian in the early years of the church and he says this about the Ascension so much did the ascension of Jesus influence the disciples that all fear was turned to joy. Their minds contemplated the divine Christ at the Father's side. No earthly trial could distract them from the fact that Christ had not left the Father when he descended, nor left the disciples when he returned. And that's really important, I think. Um, Christ had not left the Father when he descended, nor left the disciples when he returned. It's easy to think about the, the 33 years-ish of Christ's life, or the three-ish years of his ministry, as a sort of very different sort of Christ than the Christ that existed before and after his earthly life. Um, and what the Church teaches us is that's not true. Um, yes, the Incarnation is something extraordinarily wonderful, extraordinarily important um, and it is what uh, what wrought our salvation Jesus being a man um, living in the world suffering dying and rising again but that's not completely different than how he was before and how he is now uh, when Jesus is born in Bethlehem on Christmas Day he doesn't stop being with the Father he doesn't stop being divine he doesn't stop being part of that trinity of love and relationship and crucially the same is true the other way when Jesus ascends into heaven on ascension day 40 days after his resurrection three or so years after his ministry begins 33 years after he's born he doesn't stop being with the disciples he doesn't stop being with us he is as close closer to us now reigning in heaven uh, than he was living on earth because what happens through the resurrection and the ascension and the coming of the Holy Spirit is that God comes to live in our hearts. God comes to live in our lives. God becomes uh, closer to us than we are to ourselves. No earthly trial could distract the disciples from the fact that Christ had not left the Father when he descended, nor left the disciples when he returned. Nothing separates us from the presence of Christ. Uh, the fact that we can't all receive communion together today doesn't separate us from the love of Christ. The fact that Jesus is not living and wandering about on the, on the earth now doesn't separate us from his love. No, in fact, we find ourselves closer. Um, and that's one of the things that we remember as we make our act of spiritual communion, which I'm going to lead for you now. So if you want to receive the bread and the wine of communion today and can't, then make this prayer your own.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. And in our prayers today, I simply invite you to gather up all of your sorrows and griefs, all of your frustrations and anxieties, all of your concerns, and give thanks to God that not only does he know them, but that he bears them and carries them to the Father. And I invite you to gather all of your thanksgivings, your joys, your celebrations, all that is good and lovely in your life, in the life of the world in the beauty of creation and give thanks that those two Christ carries to the Father in thanksgiving. Father God, as your Son ascends into the heavens, we give thanks that he does not leave us but moves closer to us than ever before. Receive all our sorrows and trials. Receive all our thanksgivings and joys. As you bless this world with the incarnation and the presence of Christ, so bless our endeavours. So bless our pilgrimage. So bless the church. So bless the world. So bless our own families and our lives. So bless our healers, our ministers, our leaders. So bless creation that we may honour you here on earth as we worship you now in heaven. In Jesus name. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
the festival day, blessed day that art hallowed for ever, day when our God ascends high in the heavens to reign. He who has conquered the grave now rises to heavenly splendor. Bitterly the light gives him praise, meadows and ocean and sky. Hail the festival day, blessed day that art hallowed for ever. Day when our Lord ascends high in the heavens to reign. Christ in thy triumph ascend, thou hast led captivity captive. Heavens her gate unbars, flinging her increase of light. Hail the festival day, blessed day that art hallowed for Day wherein Christ ascends high in the heavens to reign. Then shall the Spirit descend on them that await his appearing. Flame from the heart of our God, life giving Spirit of peace. Hail the festival day, blessed day that art hallowed for ever, day when our God ascends high in the heavens to reign. So shalt thou bear in thine arm an immaculate people to heaven. Bearing them pure unto God, pledge of thy victory here. Hail the festival day, blessed day that art hallowed for ever, day when our God ascends high in the heavens to reign. Equal art thou co-eternal, in fellowship one with the Father, and with the Spirit of Truth, God evermore to be blessed. Hail the festival day, blessed day that art hallowed for ever. Day when the Lord ascends high in the heavens to reign. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Born of a woman, he came to the rescue of our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to life eternal, and by his ascension gave us the sure hope that where he is we may also be. Therefore the universe resounds with Easter joy, and with choirs of angels we sing forever to your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, 
Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of blessed Mary and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. I receive the body and blood of Christ on my own behalf, on behalf of my brothers and sisters in the parishes of Tidman, St Greville's, Hulesfield and Brockwear, and all those throughout the world who cannot receive the sacrament physically today. May it be for me and for you health, 
healing and salvation. I believe, Lord, and confess that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. I believe also that this is indeed your most pure body and this is indeed your most precious blood. Wherefore, I pray, have mercy upon me and pardon my offences. Receive me now, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not betray your mystery to your enemies nor give you a kiss like Judas, but like the thief I will confess you. Remember me, Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Lord, enthroned in heavenly splendor, first begotten from the dead, thou alone our strong defender, liftest up thy people's head. Alleluia, alleluia, Jesus, true and living bread. Paschal Lamb, thy offering finished once for all when thou wast slain in its fullness undiminished shall forevermore remain. Alleluia, alleluia, cleansing souls from every stray. Life imparting heavenly manna, stricken rock with streaming side, heaven and earth with loud hosanna, worship thee, the Lamb who died. Alleluia, alleluia, Risen, ascended, glorified. Let us pray. God our Father, you have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that, nourished with such spiritual blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder, if you're in the parish of Tidenham, that this Sunday's service is on the Tidenham Parish Online Church YouTube channel, um, and that will be available from half past ten on Sunday. Uh, with the vicar and myself um, and then there is an invitation to coffee
which you'll find through the various parish links um, afterwards. Have a wonderful rest of Ascension Day, enjoy the sunshine if you can, um, and as you look to the skies, uh, remember that Christ is with you now, uh, even as he is in heaven. Alleluia, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. Christ, our ascended King, pour upon you the abundance of his gifts, and bring you to reign with him in glory, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.